Hello guys, welcome back to the second video of Mr. Ironbar's Return. This arc features all the new endgame updates that just came out recently. Harmal Theater of Blood, Harmal Nightmare, Combat Diaries coming out soon, and a few other things. Today's video is dedicated to the start of the Harmal Nightmare grind. So when I started doing Nightmare a long time ago, I did end up almost finishing it. I only had Harm Orb left and the pet to get from Nightmare. So it was like a good stopping point. But now Harmal Nightmare has come out with a few new items. The Parasitic Egg, which lets me transmog the pet when I get it. And also the Sleepy Tablet, which lets me teleport straight to the boss. Nightmare is known to have an insane travel time from bank to there, about 2 minutes. Fosani's Nightmare aka Harbo Nightmare is definitely worth it over the regular if you are able to kill it efficiently because on average you will be getting unique drops like Harm Orbs and Inquisitor 20% faster. That's what the official uh, statement is from Jagex. And on top of the other bonus rewards, you know, higher pet chance, the sleepy tablet, and the parasite egg. So definitely worth doing, and it'll give me a much needed motivation to try to bang out the rest of the nightmare drops. So let's see what we can do and try and get some new items. Feels bad, man. Oh, what the freak? I guess two hours of wiping today uh, paid off. <laughs> oh, damn, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. I'm just gonna add this to my site now. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the to the white team, you know, the white boys, because we we still got something good on our first completion in two hours. <laughs> Do -do -do. Ooh, they have a new teleport here. Um, sleep, but I can't use it yet because I don't have that tablet that came out today. So hopefully during the test run, I can grab myself a tablet from the new boss. Well, the hard mode and I can just teleport there instead of having to run there. Oh, that's probably one of the worst parts about Nightmare Grind. Spending like two minutes to run there. Alright, hard mode is basically just up the stairs, I remember. I remember they did the event one. That one was booty, but... But yeah, it's the same place as last time. And it's an instant, so that means I can actually just stake to a world and not have to hop around. Which is nice. Okay, can I just go in now? Holy crap. <laughs> oh, dude. What the f- Okay, that's a little rough, man. Hello? Dude. How many times is it gonna do it? Jesus. Okay. Alright, that was a little tricky. <laughs> Alright, I got my first kill, but like, bruh. Okay, so I just gotta dodge everything. I see. See, that was a, that was a little rough. I got 13 prayer pots. Crap, what do I even do with this? Alright, okay, last phase is not that hard, to be honest. Damn, I got 500 blood runes, though. That kill, that's actually pretty sick. Okay, at least the last phase is very easy. For my gear. Ooh, what? <laughs> nice, BB, I guess. Give you a follow. All right, thanks, bro. Oh no 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 no! Oh, crack at seventy-seven. Oh whoa, that was that was under eight minutes though. What? That made no sense. I felt like that kill I was struggling way more, but uh, somehow it was under eight minutes. Oh god. Uh, what? Uh, hey, come back. Yo, boss, where are you? No, dude, why you do this? Oh, no, I hate that glitch, bro. Fuck. Ah, what a waste. Waste of time. Supplies, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them all right. Oh, eight Snapdragon seeds. Wow. Yes. Oh baby, that's a that's a good one. That's a good one, boys. You're on high score now. Yay! Reach 50 KC milestone. Apparently the tablet is like one in a hundred. Alright, what we get? Come on, 100 KC. Damn bro, triple digits, no tablet. Slightly sad. Cause we're on the right now. On rates with nothing to show for it. Reminds me of the uh, the first nightmare grind I did on here. 
All right, let's see how many times I've died so far. Damn, I've died 25 times. Ugh. 25 times in 139 kills. So I often get asked why I bring both the scythe and the mace for my nightmares. And the main reason is because of blood rune usage. On an Iron Man, spamming scythe is just not really efficient. You just actually lose more time using the scythe. And the mace is actually only a little bit worse than me scything with Inquisitor at this boss. So it's definitely smart to spam the mace more. But I do use the scythe for a few occasions, uh, mainly the last phase when you have to DPS as hard as possible, ideally. I also use it for um, when she does the 5x shadows because it syncs perfectly since the attack speed between me and her are the same. I can dodge the shadows a bit easier as well. And yeah, it's just good for some speed kills here and there. It wasn't that fast. Oh, and actually I got a PB, so I'm happy with that. Nice, 734. Okay, back to macing, I guess. I just knock out so hard. Oh, what? I got a skirt. Oh my god. Damn, it's too it's too late in the day it, uh, to be screaming. Oh my god, I got a skirt. But it's not a unique item. Mm, I mean, I'll take the skirt though. Holy shit. That's my third one. Skirt, skirt, skirt. I guess I don't know. Hell yeah. Yay, 157 KC, I gotta drop. Let's go, but I really want to get something unique though, so. So yeah, we still we still are searching for that, yeah. So Hormone Nightmare is definitely quite hard compared to the normal one because it uses all the mechanics at the same time instead of being separated from like phase one, two, and three. So what that means is for example, phase one, instead of just being hus and flowers is going to be hus flowers dash a parasite reverse prayer all of those all going on at the same time so you have to be ready to just adapt okay and also throughout all the phases it can spam dark holes five times in a row and they all hit up to 65 or so so it's really dangerous if you get caught twice in a row you're kind of just dead unless you have combo e okay so really dangerous and also during the phase transitions there are sleepwalkers that increase in number throughout the phase. So it starts with one sleepwalker and then second phase, two, three, four, so on. And then on the fourth phase, it's all that together. And also she can turn off your prayer after she hits you twice with the same attack. So if she ranges you twice, then your prayer gets turned off. So you have to make sure you turn it back on or else um, her attacks, which is a lot stronger, will hit 70s. The ranged magic melee all can hit 70s. Really dangerous. And finally, the last phase is a DPS check. It doesn't have much HP, but it's really punishing if you take too long to kill it. Every time a Sleepwalker goes in, you take 15 damage. And you also have to constantly dodge the Dark Holes that, again, can hit 60s. So, yeah, you want to claw it, demace it, gmol it, whatever you can. You know, just hammer it down as fast as possible. But the fight is, well, definitely more exhilarating for me. And it's a lot faster. It's like half the time. It normally takes me like 17 minutes to solo a normal nightmare. But it only takes me uh, probably like 8 minutes, 9 minutes to do on um, most kills. So yeah, much faster. I mean, I was on accurate earlier. So I probably lost the max hit. So yeah, this should be a 55. Nice. So I literally don't even need to put in any extra gear. I literally can put piety, elder maul, boom, kill it, done. Kill the Parasite in one shot, no need for gear switches, right back into uh, pillar phase. Watch this, should be a one shot. Boom, baby. Feels good, man. I don't even have to put on any gear. It's so nice. Elder Maul is just perfect. I swear, Jagex designed that that part of the hard mode just so the Elder Maul can do that. That very specific thing there. <laughs> You always max on crush. Oh, I did it. Nice. I got three, but it's not good enough for four, though. So the 5x dark hole attack that she does, it's always going to happen after the flower special or the mushroom special. So just get ready when you see it. And the mushroom combo with a shadow is the most dangerous because if you touch the mushroom accident, you're going to be walking, which means you're going to have a hard time dodging the shadows. A good tip is to... Basically, plan out where you're going to go next after every shadow. It helps a lot, especially memorize where the mushrooms are. There's two variations of mushroom spawns. 
Whoa, did it just teleport? What the hell? Oh my god, dude, that was insane. That was almost a complete 5x5. Five five. Oh shit. Is that gonna one shot me? 101? Ah, shit, that hurts. Oh, I got all four. Sick. Okay, okay. So, when you're using Blowpipe to kill the Sleepwalkers 3 to 4, I find it a lot easier to actually use a long range weapon on one of the Sleepwalkers first. So, like a Trident or something, a long range is perfect. Then you can use the Blowpipe to finish off the rest. It's more consistent than trying to do it all with Blowpipe. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I can scythe uh, the Hus with the boss, and it's guaranteed one shot in the challenge mode on the Husk. So that's really nice. So I realized that my mace hits a 54 and it'll always hit a 54 on the parasite with my max gear, but it'll leave it with one HP left, right? Which is why you usually want to use a one-shotter like a SGS or Maul. However, my thrall can sometimes just one tick stack my 54 with its own attack. So I can actually do 55 damage in one tick still with the mace. Oh, no, 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 you fool, you fool, what are you doing? Okay. I can still do this. Oh, I can do this! Oh my god, I'm insane. This is the only time I'm gonna give myself some self-praise there. So it takes me about two minutes to get to the boss from the closest bank, which is a lot of time, right? For example, 30 trips, that's an hour just running here. So what if I do two kill trips, right? Then I just cut the running time in half. And I'm getting comfy enough with this version of Nightmare to the point that I, I can start doing two kill trips. I just need to bring a tad bit more supplies, like one more restore. I gotta bring an extra bomb. Not two sand fuse, luckily, just an extra bomb. And like an extra pair of pods. Yeah, and it works out pretty well. So I just completed my first two kill trip at Fosani's and it was a little bit scary because I ran out of food but I definitely could have brought a bit more supplies and I would have been fine. So yeah, this is looking viable. Yeah, you know what? Screw thralls. I want to try out something new. I want to try out this, uh, this spell here called um, Death's Charge which lets me gain special attack back if I kill a mob and Nightmare, you, you kill a ton of mobs so you're going to get a lot of spec back so... Yeah, I want to try this out, because then I can, like, spec all the time, you know? I can, like, claw spec a lot or, or something. Mm-hmm. Alright, so the idea with this is I would use this, and it'll last a minute. So if I kill a mob within a minute, I'll gain um, some spec back. So I would just activate it now, apparently. Oh, it did. Okay, there we go. Alright, now we can do this. Nice, I got- Ooh, I just got some spec back, that was so good. Nice, yeah, I gained 15% back, that's so nice. So the hus and the parasites are designed mechanically so that if you use a crush weapon on it, whatever your max hit is at that moment, it will apply to it. So for parasites, it's really awesome to have something like an Elder Maul, right? Because it one-shots even with mage gear, just because of the high strength bonus. But I can also do that with a god sword. However, I need to put on two melee switches. Now, the reason why I'm bringing the God Sword this time is because I'm doing two kill trips, and I am reading the chat oftentimes on Twitch, so I need that SGS spec to heal me back reliably on the Sleepwalkers. Should I make a lot of mistakes and take a lot of damage? Because one mistake is like 70 damage, 60 damage quite easily. So I've been experimenting with the Thralls, and it's really, really good at Nightmare. I think it saves at least 30 seconds of time throughout the fight, if not maybe even more. And the best Thrall to use is definitely the Mage Thrall, because on the pillars, Mage damage is doubled. So you definitely want the Major. And also, on the boss itself, all three of them do basically the same DPS. So yeah, definitely just can't Mage the whole time. Water guy? Yeah, oh, there we go. I really like it when the uh, the Thrall just helps me finish off like stuff for me. Like the pillars, so nice. So I've been using a blowpipe and it's not bad at Sleepwalkers, you can definitely kill them all, but I've heard people say crossbow's better and honestly I'm at a point where 
The blowpipe's too annoying. So let's try and see if the crossbow can do much better. It makes sense. It's three takes and it has a long attack range. So Oh. Okay. All right. There we go. Two crossbows into a melee helps a lot. Even though if, if I miss a take or something, I can still do it. can still kill them on time. Boom, baby. Okay. Yeah, crossbow is definitely much easier to attack the sleepwalkers. For sure. Alrighty, what we got here? Oh, oh no, that's fine, it's fine. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I can't be stopped. I can't be stopped. I've noticed that crossbow is also super good for when you do get hussed at a weird spot, like not in the center. Crossbow's attack range is so nice that you can actually still save yourself a lot of times, even after being hussed. One of my viewers in my clan chat, uh, Mr. Iron Bar, anybody's welcome by the way, he got a freaking runecrafting pet today. And I'm just like, yo, 25 mil. Where's mine? Ooh, face guard. Alright, yo. Yo, keep the split, bro. Just take it for yourself. I don't need it. 66, that's it? Damn, that's all the blood runes I got. Well, we're about to get something right now. Oh, whoa, you got the kid, dude. See? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> Trolling. You're never gonna get this right here, dog. Oh, I killed both of them. Holy shit. <laughs> what the sight? What the hell? That was actually sick. Uh, actually, maybe you killed them. I don't know. I couldn't see quite well there. I think I did, though. What the f- I don't know, dude. Come on. I can't see anything. Oh, no, 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 no. What the freak? Okay, I just made it. Oh my god, I just survived that. I killed both. Oh, that was sick. Yo, I went trident into blowpipe, bro. Back to back. That was late. I'm gonna back to back these guys. Oh, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Dude, I keep getting master clues, bro. Uh, let's just open this up. Damn, bro. The, the past few clues have been pretty mad. Nothing good. Super, super nice. Oh, okay, okay. This uh, mask apparently is a unique item. Never gotten it before. Sick. Oh, yeah, she got ancestral hat, bro. <laughs> no way, dude. Yo, you owe me a... Bro, you owe me a mill. You owe me a bill, dude. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, what? I got I got a DHCB pet. Oh my gosh.